First thing you want to do is get started by logging into your account at rackspace.com. You'll see a login link at the top right corner of the page. Go ahead and log into the cloud control panel. And this is where you'll enter your username and password. Once you've arrived at the cloud servers uh, screen, go ahead and click Create Server. And you'll see a couple options there, but we are choosing Create Server. Here on the Create Server page, you'll see that you have um, quite a few input options. Go ahead and start by entering a server name. And I'll choose Demo. You can make this whatever you'd like. Uh, notice there are several geographic locations where your server can be launched. I've chosen Dallas. Lots of options here for images, machine images. For a number of reasons, um, I've chosen Ubuntu 12.04. That's the long-term service. Next, you'll see that there are a number of uh, performance options available to you. Um, go ahead and leave the default options on networks and advanced options and click create. Now once I've done that, it's going to start the process of building your server. Be sure to copy the root admin password down onto um, either a notepad or um, another Word or Pages document. You'll need to save that for future reference logging into this server. Once you have um, that root password um, saved on your notepad, you can start the next part of server setup by, you'll wanna uh, go ahead and log into um, the server via a, a process, what we call SSH. Now it may take a few minutes uh, to set up the server, just depending on um, the system uh, resources that are available at Rackspace at the moment, um, but it should be a pretty quick process. Um, you'll need the IP address um, for later reference. Uh, Rackspace gives us a handy terminal login uh, cheat code here, so you can copy that to your clipboard. And go ahead and open up terminal in Spotlight and paste that command in. Yes, you'll want to move forward. Pull up our root password, copy that, and paste, and hit enter. And here we are at the server login screen, ready to get started by updating the server. There's a command, um, aptitude update. Should go ahead and bring in the most recent update um, of all the software that's on our server. We'll give that a moment to update. And I'll make a note of the command that I've run there. Next, I'm gonna want to um, run an up upgrade to the server. So I'll type in aptitude upgrade and let that run. And yes, I want to continue. Now this upgrade should take a couple minutes. All right, you'll see now that the status um, is no more updates. So we can move forward with task cell to set up our lamp stack. Scroll down here and select lamp, hit spacebar and enter. It's gonna prompt you for a password I've chosen to uh, keep the same root password I've used, that I used in the past. So I'll copy that on my clipboard and paste it in. Let the system install LAMP.
Once that's finished, we can test to make sure that the web server is running by typing curl localhost. And just to confirm uh, there, it does say it works. So I'm happy with that result. And just to further um, harden our system, let's go ahead and type in um, MySQL secure installation and uh, follow the prompts here. I'm gonna choose not to change the root password, but I will remove the anonymous user uh, remote login and go ahead and choose yes to the last two prompts and hit enter. Last, I'm going to enable uh, the firewall by allowing port 80 by typing UFW allow 80 and UFW allow 22. And then I'll enable the firewall by typing UFW enable. Yes, I'd like to proceed. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the server and let it reboot. Give it a moment to reboot itself. And then I'm gonna log back in. You can just hit the up arrow and hit enter after a moment and continue to log in just as you did before. Go ahead and copy your password again and paste it in. Just to test that um, our system is configured properly, let's again type curl localhost. Sure enough, it works. Um, our server IP address um, is set up and it, our server is running. We are good to move forward and let's head next to setting up email.